Happy birthday to the lead singer of the Village People. Victor Willis is celebrating the big 7-0 this week. You know, for some reason, we tend to think of birthdays that end in a zero as milestones. But an NYU student says, uh, or an NYU study says, it's actually the 12 months leading up to those birthdays, the so-called nine-ender years, uh, in which we're most likely to make changes in our lives. With that in mind, let's use 59 as an example. From a financial standpoint, what kind of changes or advice would you have for a client who's approaching 60 years old? Uh, well, there's <laughs> there might be... Uh, a lot of advice. Uh, that's a pretty general statement, but obviously there's a lot of things to consider. Uh, Social Security claiming when you're going to retire, uh, long-term care insurance, if you're going to look into that, is not a bad time to do it because the older you get, the harder it is to get, more expensive it is if you're going to if you need it. Right? Mm -hmm. We have clients that have more than a certain dollar amount, and we just say, yeah, I think you can probably self-insure here because if one of them went into a a nursing home. It's not that big. You know, they're not going to run out of money, mm -hmm. right? But the average retiree may, right? One of them goes in and you're dropping 80, 90 grand a year. That hurts. Plus, you got to take the tax, right? For most people saved in an IRA pre-tax, you got to take 110 to net just to pay the nurse. Home. Yeah, so, right. So it, you just got to look at all those. We call it stress testing. Banks get stress tested, thankfully now, because they failed right in 2008. But they you stress test your return. What happens if inflation goes up by fifty percent? What if what if taxes go up by thirty percent? Ooh, you failed there. Why? Why did I fail here? And I did great on the uh, if investment return, stock market drops by fifty percent. Hey, you're still okay. How come I did okay there, but I didn't do well on taxes? Well, you saved in the wrong place. It's okay. We we can fix that. Next eight years, this is what we're going to do. Here's a systemized game plan to do a partial Roth drawdown strategy to to you're going to pay a little more now, right? But we're going to save more in the long run. Um, it's, it's crazy that people are not doing, but then there's no advantage to the broker that's selling the mutual funds, the 401k guy at, at work. They don't care. They get paid on a percentage of assets under management. It's not to their advantage, right? But the difference is in a small firm, our clients are become our friends. Our, our clients are, we care about, we want them to be successful in 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 years when we're still around going, we're helping either if they're still alive or we're helping their kids, right, retire successfully. So it's it's this, not this short game. Like, I mean, we had a we had a client he called, I think it was three months, and he, start, he bought in right at the top of the market. I mean, he just, the timing, you know. Actually, he was talking to us for eight months, and he dragged his feet. And well, let me, you know, let me think about it, think about it. And he finally come, moves his money over, and it just happens to hit at the top of the market. Oh, man. I mean, what do you do, right? Yeah. He wasn't super aggressive, but he, it went down in value. Can you believe that? You're in the stock market and it went down? Yeah, I know. I mean, you, I thought that this was going to be so much better than my old stuff. I mean, look, you're a long-term investor, right? This, <laughs> either you're not a fit for the market or you put your money in the bank or a fixed annuity that's going to earn 2.5% or something because – the stock market does happen to fluctuate. Ups and downs, man. And it's timing, too. You know, we looked at, uh, we, I asked the client, so what do you think this rate of return on from 2001 to today on the Dow? What do you think that is? What do you think that rate of, looked like? A lot. It just, you know, went up. And you go, and he goes, I don't know, probably 8%? I'm like, 4 <laughs> And then what if you waited a month and a half and, and bought at the bottom of the crash? 13%. Oh, wow. Huh. So timing does matter? Yeah. A little bit, right? A, a little bit. 13, you know what the difference is? 13%. 9%, yeah. That's huge. Yeah. On, a, on a large amount of money, that rate of return, if you you know go out 20 or 30 years, 13%, you're going to be rolling it. Oh my gosh, no doubt. I mean, you're doubling That's your- That's huge. Yeah, you're doubling your money like every six years. So anyways, the point is that you know, you, you've just got to have a solid overall game plan. Look at the long-term- for investing, but more importantly, get all your ducks in a row. I mean, we've got clients that come in here that have been with great financial advisors, but they just focus on investments, and they they have a 20-year-old. I saw three this week that came in. 20-year-old Will. One client didn't have a, a Will. Um, and there's With 20 year old will meaning it, it, it was done old, 20 years ago and it hasn't been edited or amended added, or anything. Yeah, it's outdated. Wow. They got grandkids now that are not in there. Uh, one of them, the spouse was passed away. Um, you know, that should be removed and, and added some successor trustees and, and different, um, you know, successor power of attorney. There was just, it was like, 
you know, uh, outdated. I mean, mm-hmm. it just it needs to be it needs to be done. And it, well, I just I, I don't know. I thought it was good. You know, estate planning is not a set and forget. It's like it's like a house. Your your complete retirement plan is like a house. If you really think about it, got to replace the roof every now and constant then. Constant maintenance. I love it when yeah. they call. You know, they when vinyl was big being pushed out. You know, for siding, it's maintenance free. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even say that without laughing. I know it's like maintenance free. What yeah. are you talking about? I remember I, every. You know, we had our last house was you know maintenance free, and I'm you know telling my son to use the pressure washer. Yeah, it's maintenance free. <laughs> Getting the mold off. That's not maintenance free, right? Right. And then the storm comes through, and some. Some things would hit it and break the siding, and I had to go replace the siding. It's you hit it with a weed eater, and it right, comes, yeah. yeah, exactly. My son throws a baseball through it. You know. <laughs> right, yeah, maintenance so, free, maintenance free. Uh, second opinion service SOS is what we call it because some people need an SOS. You uh, have an outdated will, something to think about. Just get the second opinion service. Uh, you might come back with something. You might go back to your uh, current financial advisor and go, you know what? We need to talk about my will. Uh, call Brian and his crew at Integrity Financial Planning. It is a complimentary service. If you've saved at least $500,000 towards your retirement, you are eligible for this second opinion service. Just call now, 866 plan 4 That's 866-TO-PLAN and the number 4.